I arrived in Copenhagen bright and early in the morning to clear blue sky. First stop was Nihon. I took in the stunning colorful townhouses with bars and restaurants below it, and people watched as they enjoyed their Sunday brunch along the canals. And I headed to Buka Bakery, which was on the top of my list. And let me tell you, this place did not disappoint. Their pastries were one of the best I've ever had. And I got my caffeine kick and got my sugar rush to sustain me for the next few hours of walking around and exploring the city. Sunday, there was a flea market in the King's New Square, which was so lovely, and then headed to Magasin du Nord, which was across from the square, and checked out some hair clips and some cool Danish brands that I don't have access to in Tokyo. Then I spent the next few hours in Stra, just walking around, going in and out of shops, starting with Gani. slept for 16 hours because I, wait, let me close the door. From yesterday, I had only slept one hour because I went out for my friend's birthday in London and I had to catch a flight at 7 a.m., which I almost missed, but I made it. And sorry, my voice is just, you can tell that I just woke up. Yesterday, I got to Copenhagen at like nine, but I couldn't check in until three, but I was on an hour of sleep. So I was really just, try to keep it together but it was so sunny i had to explore and i did a little bit of exploring but today we're gonna hit up the gani outlet the tivoli garden it's such a pretty city and i think i got really lucky because it's raining the whole day and this week i think but yesterday it was sunny and 28 degrees which was a little too hot to explore but it was so nice and like i'm obsessed with the city everything is so pretty and the food, the cafes. I'm gonna hit up another bakery today, this morning, and I'm enjoying it. So far, I'm just doing my hair, and I slept for 16 hours, so my face is a little puffy, but you know, it's fine. And I don't know if I mentioned this, but I'm on a solo trip, so I'm here alone. But one of my friends that I know from when I was nine, <laughs> she's Danish and she lives in Copenhagen. So I'm going to see her tonight for dinner, which is so exciting. This trip has just been catching up with friends and exploring new places, which has been so fun and just a break that I needed. So, so today is my last full day and then I'm flying to Paris tomorrow. So um, it's a very tight schedule, but I think I can do it. and. It's raining today, so hopefully I can still vlog a little bit, but it's kind of hard to vlog in the city because I'm just trying to explore and not get lost, and it's really hard to vlog. Yeah, it's been really, really fun. And that was So the next day, I headed to Anderson in my yard to get my morning pastries. Got the pistachio croissant cube, which was famous, but it was a little too early for me to have, so I went to a different bakery and got a ham and cheese toasty instead. sightseeing I went to the townhouse which was really beautiful and I was planning to go to Tivoli Gardens I was gonna go in but then it started torrential downpouring which was so unfortunate so I didn't really go instead I went back to the city center I went to Studio Arhaj which was really cool I saw them making all the sculptures and cups I 
I walked like 13,000 steps again and my feet are dead. I'm exhausted. But I did quite a lot of shopping. So let's do a little haul. I had to go to Studio R. Hodge. You know, the famous um, glassware pottery. Um, they're all wrapped, so I can't open them. But I got these little sip cups and then I got one mug. And then I got the famous little ghosts. Uh, which is so cute and then I went to this I don't even know I think it's like a drugstore I just got a bunch of these like hydrogel eye masks I can't get them in Japan um, and they're like jelly sorry about the overhead lighting it's also not great this morning I went to this bakery this morning and I haven't eaten it yet because I was like not in the mood for something sweet it's by Anderson and Maillard but apparently they're Pistachio cube is famous. Ah! So let's try it. It's been in my bag for a while and I feel like I need to eat it or it's gonna go bad. Also, I forgot my tripod, so this is like really not. Oh! The pastries here are better than Paris. Like, the stuff is so. They're classics, and then there are so many like creative ones. Like today, I saw an espresso cream filled croissant, and they have a lot of pistachio based ones, which are personally my favorite. I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> they are really big though, so it's like I wish I was with someone else so I can share. Because these, I don't think I can't finish on my own. They're really big. All right, and we have to do a little Ganny haul because. I went to the Ganny outlet and then I went to another store in a mall. So I got this t-shirt yesterday, which is like my favorite. Um, this is from the new collection. I'm sorry about this <laughs> camera position. It's just, I don't have anywhere else to put it. Um, so this is the t-shirt I got yesterday. I also got this t-shirt. I might give this to my sister, um, but if she doesn't like it, I'm gonna keep it. It's so cute. Um, it's kind of similar to this with the Gany logo, but this is a little bit bigger. Um, and so I got this, which is so cute. I also wanted this blouse. I was looking at it online and they had my size. And it's really nice. It's like white and it's got, it's got some flowers and the Gany logo. A little puff sleeve, which I don't have that many of, so I thought it would be nice. And then another Gany t-shirt because I have to. Wait, let me move this. I love this color. I don't have anything like this and I thought it would be really cute. This is my favorite thing I bought. It was 60% off. This mini Ganny cardigan. It's so cute. So, all right, I'm going to dinner with my friend. I'm trying to do this hair clip situation, but I have too much hair and it's been a struggle. Black mango top. And I'm wearing a black satin skirt. I'll show in the full size mirror. But the lighting in here is the best. And then the same jack jacket from earlier. I'm wearing my black sleeves. It's like cobblestones in Denmark. So I can't wear heels. I was going to wear heels with this outfit. But it's just not happening. Everyone's just wearing sneakers. So I'm wearing loafers because I forgot to bring my sneakers. Which is not great. But wait, let's, let's do... This is the fit. All right, this is the final look. Super cute. And I swear I got influenced by these girls in Copenhagen. They're all wearing hair clips and I bought one, except I have too much hair and it's not clipping the right way. So it looks like this, but yeah, that's the situation. <laughs>
just checked into the hotel and got ready for dinner and i'm gonna do a room tour of course a little room tour but before this is my outfit of the night we're going to chez Genou, and i think this is a little too formal but whatever it's like sort of my still my birthday so i'm in the birthday spirit um i'm just wearing this all black um top and top is from mango and it's really beautiful it's got like a slit on the side and just a black satin skirt and then i bought this little like satiny rose hair clip situation that you just like clip you can clip it onto anything really and i put it on my top and i did a whole get ready with me on tiktok so you can see that this is the door so this is where you walk in and the mini bar and this is the room like look how incredible this is um everything is just you can tell every little detail was like carefully selected and i want this chair i want that chair i mean Okay, I'm gonna stop talking. I'll just do the room tour now. <laughs> Alright, so this is... Everything is quite techy. Like, look how cute this is. Even this lighting, I'm obsessed with. They got like a cake ready and like a little note for my birthday. And that is a speaker. How cool is that? And this... Like, look at these windows. And I just feel so incredibly lucky to be here. Love the wooden beams. This is a very Japanese vibe kind of like traditional but also modern and they also have a little happy birthday i messed that up okay so pretend that it looks nice <laughs> love these oak doors they're so nice oh it's a is it a push or a pull push it's the most beautiful bathroom i think this is like the bathroom of my dreams it feels homey because of the wood um so i just kind of unpacked there's the shower this is the toilet and the perfect bathroom mirror like this hotel knows what they're doing and this is the view from when you walk out of the bathroom I started off the day by going to Musée de l'Angerie. I love this museum so much. I'm not a huge museum girly and find that a lot of big museums tend to overwhelm me, but I felt so calm and so at peace. I headed to Saint Germain de Pré to do city farmer shopping because a girl needs to get her French skincare. And then we headed back to Le Marais because our hotel was near that area and we had to pick our bags up since we were leaving that night. We had an early dinner at Poulette, which was lovely, and took the Eurostar back to London. Next vlog will be in Portugal, so stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.